Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Extreme Builds. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Last time out, we managed to expand our building from the mistake that I made, which was uh, a section of four, which is uh, just four houses on one building, to six. So you can see here we've got four sort of recessed buildings or recessed houses and two that are sort of, I'd say, Right, either the four are recessed or the two are extruded, one or the other. You can pick which one you want, uh, whichever one you prefer. In this video, what we're going to do is work a little bit on that lower coving section and some of those bricks, do some of the painting, and then we're going to be looking at the roof section. So the roof is going to be quite complicated. Victorian and Georgian roofs were rather complicated with slopes at the back and sort of a flat fascia at the front and things like that. So we're going to have to look into all of that. But before we do that, as I said, we're going to be working on the coving and making sure that all, that all of that looks, well, sort of to spec. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Hopefully this should be quite a nice episode. Okay, I'm going to be making uh, quite good use of this chisel today. That is that is the one that we're going to be using quite a bit. Now, because of the way that this is, it is going to be a little bit interesting to work out what needs to go where. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to work out how far out it needs to go with this chisel. Uh, and I think it might be better for me to use the... Is that a 32-bit? That is the 32. Yeah, let's use make sure we use this 32 bit mode. So we're looking at it going out one, two, three, four with the chisel. And over here, we've already got it going out. Is that one? So we do. So what we need to do is we need to do two, three, four. That is the first thing we need to we need to ensure that we're, we're doing. So we'll build that up and then we need to match this all the way along so clearly this one does not go out as far so we're going to have that going out like so and then this one once again is one more in so that should be our corner correct and i need to i need to make sure and check that does look okay. And what I've decided to do is I've decided to do the coving all the way around uh, just because I think it's going to look a lot better. And I will dig it into this cement as well. So I'll do that. Uh, but again, this is where you've got to be really careful. You really do not want to mess this up. In fact, I think it may be better if we start from the bottom. We start from here. Then we do the next one along, which we will do there, and then the final one there. How does that look? That seems to be okay. It does seem to be okay. So I'm thinking the entire front will have this coving and I am thinking of having it go around, just loop around and sort of wrap around the edge up to maybe this brick here and just just wrap around. But I'm not entirely sure about that at this particular point in time. Next up, what we need to do is have this go all the way. So I will grab it there and it's just going to be this is where we've got to count again. This is two, isn't it? One, two, three. So we need to make sure that it comes out one, is it three? Yes, three. So we need to make sure that it comes out one, two, three off the bricks all the way on the far end. And how far down is it supposed to go? That's the other thing I've got to check. From where it is, it's going to be one, two, three in total. So one, two, three by one, two, three. It is a square. So we'll bring it all the way down here and we'll say, right, where are you? 
So we'll go one. So that's three. And then it's going to be one, two. Is it that entire brick? Like that, is it? That looks correct. That does look correct. Next one we need to grab is going to be this one. This one's going to come out one further. So we'll, we'll grab that and ensure that it comes out just one further. So we'll have it up to there. Again, we've got to check, make sure that that does look correct. So far, so good. And then the top one is one further still. The top one's actually quite easy because it, it comes out underneath this. So as long as as long as it's come out underneath that, it will be absolutely fine. So it should be. I'm actually going to do that. And it should happily connect onto that, which it does. And there we go. That's the that's the coving section done for for all the middle parts and you can see that it matches up very nicely with this you can see how the doors work and what we need to then do is break some of that coving in the middle so for example this bits here we just go ahead and break it like that so that it matches with the ends and that's the pattern that I've chosen I think that's the pattern I chose yep that's the pattern I've chosen so you can see how it it puts every, it sort of connects everything together which is which is exactly what I am after so we'll do the same with this one so we break it from from here and we break it up to here. There we go. And we, we will do the same on this one. Oops, nope. Control it. There we go. Same concept all the way along. Up to there. And of course, we haven't done, we haven't done the last one. So that is okay. There we go. That is looking. That is looking correct the entire way through. OK, let's go ahead and do the final bits, which is this one. This one over here, which is going to be. So again, we want it to be one, two, three, four out. I'm actually going to grab it from here. And I will do that. So I'm going to do one, two, no, three, four. It's another line like that. Then it is one, two, three. One, two, three. And then it is what? Uh, one, two, right? Is it? Is that really how it is? One, two, three. Comes down to there. Okay. I'm going to pretend that that was correct or is correct. I will do the same here. We'll do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It is one, two, three, four. Fill that up. And just make the second level of the exact same thing. Then we'll then we do the one, two, three, which I should be able to just do this and there. Is that correct? Something something about that strikes me as off something about this is striking me as wrong what what have I done 
One, two, three, four. Let's go right over to this side and do the same count. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It's this side that's wrong. One, two, three, four. This side's incorrect. That is wrong. Therefore, this one is one out. And this one is one out. Is that better? So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and one, two. And then on this side, it is. Come on. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then one, two. I think that is it. Oh my, what am I doing? There. Now I, I have this, this tool available to me. Why do I not use it? Right. And then just, uh, How far is this supposed to go? I think it's that with an extra layer. Yes, that is correct. Then we will have this. We have that, then we have this. And then we have the top level, which I should not have done that to, should have done that. Much easier to build. Yeah, I am going, I am going to have to wrap this around, aren't I? Otherwise it's going to look wrong. And then do that over to here and perfect there we go so about 12 minutes 13 minutes to do that that is the carving done obviously it doesn't look great when you're far away and that's just because of the rendering if i were to render this in a higher quality at uh, one it would start eating up my frames this is bad enough as it is. I mean, this is actually giving me 60 frames per second, but if I were to to increase the render quality, you will see, in fact, let's just show you. If this crashes the computer, this is going to be a problem, but if I go over here and go to video settings, details, no, not details, quality, no, not that, performance, no, shaders, there we go. Render quality times two, or one point, even 1.5, no, 1.5 doesn't look any better. Times 2 certainly does, though. Shaders times 2. There you go. And you can just see how much better that looks. But look at the frame rates. And you can you can really, really make out the details. But once it once the final screenshots of that oh, and everything are coming in, that is the kind of quality I'll do. But you can just see, look at that frame rate. So... I will bring this back down to, we'll try 1.5, let's try 1.5, there you go, yeah I can still move around at 1.5, it, it isn't perfect but it's, it's not too bad, it is not too bad at all, yeah, right, next up is going to be the blue bricks, that's next up. So let's go ahead and, is it Alt and click? No, Alt and left click, that's it. And we will paint our bricks blue. Ah, wait, no, we've got to do this step by step. I might have to do something here to, with these doors. I haven't thought that through, have I? 
I uh, might need to just do something with these doors, I think. Because this, whilst this is nice, I think we need to have a bit of a cover of some sort. We'll see. We will see. And then you all the way around to here. And then you all the way around to, oh, not there, to here. And then you from there to the corner, like so. Is the blue bricks. I have the blue bricks going all the way around the house for this. Why do I have it going all the way around the house? Should I? Should I do that? Yes, it doesn't really matter. Let's put let's put the blue bricks also on this side. Okay. Run along. There we go. Layer of blue bricks all around. So the engineering bricks go all around the house. Very nicely. Okay. No more I think there's no more building work required on the on the external pieces of the house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to place a bunch of these all over on this side. I'm going to leave the recipes, of course. I'm going to probably need them. The door, definitely do not need the door. And then give me the rest of those. Uh, just that. That is required. What's in this one? Nothing. What's in this? Oh, no. What's in this one? Nothing. Okay, what I'm going to do is in here, I'm going to place anything that I probably do not currently require, and then I'll bring back what I will. So I'll probably need this one. I may need this one. I will probably take this one and this one. The mid wall I will not need. Corner LZ fixed. That's correct. It's the same thing. Okay. Fine. I will take that one. Anything else I require? This is fixed. That's fixed. This one is fixed. Any that are not fixed. This one. Probably do not need that one then. Take that one. That looks good. I think that is all I require. Okay. Perfect. I'm half tempted to just leave these around as they are currently. Well, there's one that's not used. And let's take a look. Let's start working on on the roof design. So the roof design is an interesting one. As you can see, if I go over to this side, the front of the house has this sort of plinth on it. Um, I'm not sure why. Then we have the back of the house starts like this. And then we have this up down pattern, which you can see if I do that. You can get a pretty good look. So from the back, it's supposed to look something along the lines of that. How I'm going to pull that off, I'm not sure. Um, I'm really not sure. The problem is, is that there are two ways to do this. A sort of sloped, there's a little tiles that gives us perfect slopes with no chiseled bits or anything. So it doesn't look like bits, it's just one nice slope. Uh, and then you've got the other way which is similar to this and then we'll use the tiles so let's give this a bit of a go let's let's just give this a little bit of a go and i'm going to say let's for example have how many tiles does it how many does it go down in total because i'm using halves here as well so we had one 
Did it only go down a total of one and a half? One. And a half. Okay, so it goes down one and a half. That is the plan. So if we have this like this, we should have another one just halfway. So if I do this, uh, how many blocks again does it also go down across? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six to the bottom. So that is what I need to do. So we're saying six to the bottom. So we're going, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. At this point, it's at the bottom. At this point, it is at the top. I need to keep referring back to this. So we go half down, two across. Oop, uh, half down, two across, half down. So we start at the top of this. We're going to start up there. We go half down. So this one is going to have to be broken in half. Two across. Then we go, so we do two across, half down. Yeah, that's how it's going to go. Let's bring this back, the hammer. Right, what is half of this? That is the question. If I were to go ahead and change this to 16 again, should be able to. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is half down. Okay. There. That is what we call half down on that. Now, the issue with this is, of course, that is not exactly a smooth slope because you're doing that and then we're doing that and then we're going, what is it again? One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. No, stop that. There. And you can see that that is not going to be a smooth slope. So, the alternative here is to, and if I go ahead and place this in, the alternative is going to be to, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, I'm going to actually place a whole bunch in here and then use the, right, it may not be the chisel I want anymore. Search items, little, uh, which one is it? Little saw, little wrench, little, little glove, little, no, it's probably, probably the hammer. Drag slice, is that the one? So if I were to do that and then bring it down to there, no. No, that isn't it. Drag, drag line, let's see. There you go, that's the one. And I think that is going to be what is going to be a lot, lot better. So I have to do that, or I do this. Ah, no, you see that that goes across. So it is, this is going to be a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Um, right, start with this one. End with that one, then go for that one, cut it out there. Okay. Now I think we could, at this point, stop breaking and you can see how difficult this is now going to be. So we've got all these bits that we probably need to try and break away. 
Now I could use the hammer but, uh, in certain areas, but it is still going to be a long and tedious task. Also, I'm, I'm breaking the grass now. And I still don't know if this is going to look correct. What's it breaking? I see now, now it's breaking a bunch of... I suppose that doesn't matter. We'll, we'll build that up. Whatever it breaks on this side, I suppose it's, it really is not of a concern. But you can see that eventually we should end up with a pretty nice slanted block. So that's the other option I have. The third option, which I'm actually going to get rid of all of this now because this is just a mess. Yeah, it'd help if I did drag... Oh, we could have used drag wall. That might have worked. There you go. Uh, terribly sorry. Let's put these back in. The next option I've got is trying to, again... So, I wonder if drag wall will work. One, two, three, four... What was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it six? No, it is six. What am I doing? It is six because there's one on either side that's up. Okay. No, why are you there? Let's see what drag wall does. Drag wall. No. Uh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. We do have a diagonal here. Did that just slice right the way through? It did. Okay. Here's our third option. Drag wall. And with that, what we should be able to do is essentially just remove all of this bit. So we could just go ahead and... What would happen if I sort of did that? Okay, okay. That makes it so much easier. That would actually make it so much easier to, to build this. Of course, it takes out a lot if we do that. So what we need, we probably do need to do a drag wall of just one and then count up here saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do it up to there. And then somehow, somehow we've got to remove all of this now i'm wondering if we can use a drag box to reset the time um, and just do this sort of line by line this is not going to be easy because it is going to require a lot of delicate work to not mess this up. I do mean a lot of delicate work not to mess this up. Did that mess that up? Yeah, see, look, it did. Okay, alternatively, we just go back to punching these out one at a time. Yeah, that's that's going to be the there must be a better way of doing this. See, I do not want to do that. 
There is a better way of doing this. There is a better way. Where's the chisel for chisel, chisels and bits? Chisel. Where's the chisels and bits chisel? Are you the chisels and bits bizzle? You, uh, bit bizzle? Bizzle? Okay, no. Chisel? Bizzle? What? Uh, chisel? Chisel? Chisels and bits chisel. I want you. Connected material. Okay, let's try connected plane. And let's change that to just plane. This is faster. Uh, there's got to be another way to do this. Large cube, plane. I think it's still connected plane. So that should happily break all of this away. Provided things are not connected. Which I'm not sure if they are. No, they, they seem to be okay. Here, look. Why don't we just do this? Actually, I think this might be our best bet. Is to do this and follow it from there. Okay. It's taking a while. It is taking a while, but I think of all of the solutions, this might be the best of the lot. I got rid of the wrong thing. That's okay. Done it again. Right, and all we are now left with is apparently a mess here. Uh, that was going to happen, wasn't it? Now we're just left with a bunch of these. You just have to be careful about when we're knocking them out. There we go. Okay, idea. Not sure if this is going to work, but I have an idea. Uh, select that. Wrong button. Select that. Build up to there. Uh, no, just do plain. No, it doesn't work. I was kind of hoping that that would do Connected material? No, that hasn't worked. Okay. What I need to do is I need to actually bring that back. It's going to take too long to break that in that way, so we'll just have to do it this way. Oh boy. The things you have to do for detailing in Minecraft. Is this part of it? You can go away as well. You're part of it. What's up? I tell you what I should do is I should get rid of the lower ones first so I can clearly see what's going on. So these ones are the, the harder ones. I've just knocked something out I shouldn't have. These ones are the much harder ones. There we go. Now we're a little bit clear. That's better. That is better now that we're, we are a little bit clear. Right, not 
too long to go. How long has this taken? It's probably taken me about 10-15 minutes to do this. But that's the point of these builds. And of course, I am going to have to do this for, for another one, which is going to be in the exact opposite way. But I'm also hoping that there's a way to mirror this. I could really do with a, a mirror option. If anybody knows of a mirror option, please let me know. That is going to be vital for this. Otherwise, this, this could this could turn out problematic. Right. That is better than what we had. Now, if we go back to the back of this, you can see that if we go to where we've placed windows, it starts just above that window so if we have a look at the window here we could say that this is technically the lowest point why is this one like this what is this one? Oh no I used the wrong Oh no, it's fine. Well, that was bound to happen. I've made a mistake on that. It's just the top one I've made a mistake on. There you go. It's all right. It's take it took a little bit of time, but it's it's okay. Thankfully, this one is going to be moved anyway. So what we are saying, what we're saying is that this is the lower part of that roof, which is fine. So is that this? That's that section there. So we'll just have a little bit on top. And then this is the upper part. So if I let's let's temporarily try this. So I'm going to try it by clicking up here and then clicking down here. There is a a recipe. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to leave it like that. I'll save it. Let's run over to this. Let's make this one. Okay, and let's see how it fits. Now, which side does it go on? It will be going on this side. No, you have to turn it around. It will be going on this side. There we go. Is that where it goes? That is where it goes. Um, how does that look as a as a house? Well, let's have a look at the other one. Those ones look like that. Kind of a bit bit aggressive, really. This one looks like that which actually does not look so bad can i mirror this let's see how is it possible to have this mirrored why did i do that uh let's see is there anything here that says anything about mirroring no Anything in here that says anything about mirroring? No clip, no. Tell you what, I, I'll have a quick look on, right, little, what's it called? Little tiles mod mirror. Let's see. 
as if there's anything here. Little chisel, yeah, 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 yeah. No, um, I just want to know if you can mirror things. That's all. Oh, maybe it's the screwdriver or something that allows you to mirror things. Not sure. Let's let's try. Let's uh, let's throw. Let's throw this one down. Just in fact, let's throw it down properly. Let's grab ourselves additional tools. So let's go to that one. We'll do that. Let's move things. I don't know why it keeps moving different things into different places. I no longer want that there. Do not need the door. Leave that on that side. Search little tile. There it is. Let's try a screwdriver. Let's try the wrench. The glove probably does not do anything. But let's let's try this. Status fixed. Mm, doesn't tell me anything. Well, it does tell me things, but doesn't mean much to me. Okay, what does a screwdriver do? Uh huh. Not a clue. Remove, replace with. No. Cannot do that. The wrench doesn't really do anything. The hammer doesn't. But well, I'm not sure if I can mirror this. And if I... What's going to happen is I'm going to have to do this again. Which I probably am going to do off camera. So I'll do that off camera and then we'll see if we can build all of these up so that's for the next episode we have we have the roof built up i might shallow that roof out you know i might actually shallow that out quite significantly because i'm not i'm not against that but i'm not all too keen on it either so i'll have to see i will have to see let me know what you think do let me know what you think. Get rid of you. Let's, uh... Ah, that's what it does. Let's pop you down as well so we can see. Look, we've got some work going on. Work in progress. Uh, there we go. Thumbnail. Sure, why not? Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Minecraft Extreme Builds. Leave a comment in the comments box below, letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon if you can do so. www.patreon.com slash easygadget. Your support would be massively appreciated. And to those who already support me, thank you very much. Um, it, is, it is really helpful. Also, you can find me on social media at easygadgets, LP for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me, and I will see you guys next time in Minecraft Extreme Builds, where we will continue to build Victorian London, or this part of Victorian London. If we can get the roof in in the next video, we're down to doing the front section, detailing of the house, the gardens, and then we should be able to duplicate this all around the square, giving us what should start looking very much like a typical Victorian slash Georgian London Square. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that.